Hi guys, Forest Prepper here. Um, just want to show you a few bits of kit I've just purchased, uh, and a thank you to my good friend John Bushcraft. Um, I don't know if you've seen the video at my birthday weekend that we did. Um, I've been after one of those Ridgeline Pintail smocks for quite a while. I kept saying yes, no, yes, no, and I couldn't make up my mind. Anyway, Johnny went and bought me one for my birthday. Um, I've had it on the last two days because it's been a bit wet, windy, a bit cold. Um, and I must say, guys, it's a brilliant jacket. Um, I only had a t-shirt underneath it and I was absolutely boiling. Um, let me just grab it. This is the, uh, the Pintel smock that Johnny bought me um, with a front pocket in it. This thing is 100% uh, waterproof, 100% Windproof, it's breathable, and it's great if you want to do a bit of staff as well because it's got a soft shell on it, um, so it doesn't make the rustling noise which other types of jackets do when you're out. Um, they're retail, I think they're about 80 quid, 79 quid, depending on where you buy it from. Um, but this one here, I cannot believe how warm it actually is. Um, I'm very, very impressed with it actually, to be honest. Um, very impressed. So, to my dear friend Johnny Bushcraft, I'd just like to say thank you very much for the gift for my birthday, mate. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, I should wear that all the time now, buddy. Um, so, thanks for that, Johnny. Okay. Next thing is, um, I've been watching a lot of the, uh, the videos going up now with all the guys trying the SJ4000 camera. Um, which is, like, as Sandy calls it, the poor man's GoPro. So I thought, buy one. Um, I've been watching one for quite a while, and uh, I picked mine up for uh, 48 quid. So I'll just show you it, guys. Just grab it now. It comes uh, direct from, obviously, China. So that's where they're made. Um, and that's it there, guys. I've got the other one, like Sandy got, with the waterproof case and everything else with it. Um, it comes with... Uh, a waterproof case, the waterproof case bracket, uh, the bike bracket, multifunctional clip, camera clip, helmet, seat, uh, bandages, cleaning cloth, power adapter, 3M stickers, USB cable, bracket adapter and a manual. Um, it also comes with a, a battery as well. Um, from what I can gather on it, the battery lasts about an hour and a half. Um, whether that's right or not, I don't know what. Well, it says 17 minutes at 1080. So what I went and done, guys, being me, um, I bought another spare battery to go with it. So that gave me two batteries. And then, from what I can gather from the information I've read about it, it takes quite a while to charge it. So what I've done, I've bought a separate charger with another battery. Um, I don't know if you can see that. So that's basically, I've got three batteries, which is going to give me four and a half hours recording time. Um, but the good thing about this one, is it charges the batteries up a lot quicker than what it does charging it from the camera. Um, you also get a little travel adapter, obviously comes with it, so you can use it in the UK. Um, like I said, unless you use your USB port on your, on your laptop or Paramonkey or whatever it is you use for charging, guys. Um, I've also bought the uh, 32 gig uh, mini disc to go in there, and um, that's the maximum one it takes um, with the adapter. So I bought that one as well, guys. So once I get it opened and start playing with it, I will put a couple of videos up with it. I know uh, Sandy has one now. Um, I know Jedi, Paul, Jedi Knight of the Woods, um, he's got one now. I've seen a couple of other guys starting to play with them. Um, but I thought for 48 quid, I think they paid 50 something, I got for 48. Uh, only a few quid difference, but for 48 pounds um, for a full HD 1080p uh, camera, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Um, like I said, if it turns out it's a bag of shit, um, this, is, this is not what I'm doing. Um, but like I said, the, the stuff I've seen going up from Sandy and Jedi and that, the, the quality seems pretty good. The sound's not absolutely perfect, but you know, for taking a few steals with it and a bit of action 
work where you want to keep your hands free. So say, if I was out with a dog and I seen something or whatever, it's perfect just to have it there to record your journey doing that. So guys, that was the one I got as well. Um, so like I said, I'll be trying that pretty soon. Um, also, at the 250 Preppers Me, um, also, yeah, that 250 Preppers Me, I found my sleeping bag was getting a little bit chilly. Um, I don't want to get rid of it because I've had it so long. So I've went and bought a, a fleece liner to go inside that. But also I found as well, even lying on the bed, it can be a bit uncomfortable sometimes and you can get a little bit chilly. Um, I've also found the same problem in my hammock, when I've done my hammock camping. Um, even though I've got the under blanket, it still feels a bit chilly, a bit uncomfortable uh, to a degree. Not much, but so what I've done, I've went out and I bought myself an inflatable mattress to go in there. Um, I've gone for the Exped Ultralight uh, Sin Mat. This is the 9. Uh, this one here is the obviously the 9 centimeter one. Um, I did look at the Thermo Rest, but from what I can gather from reports I've seen and stuff I've been reading, uh, they seem to just be relying on their name there, but not actually improving the quality of the products that they're making. Um, just from stuff I run, not my for personal opinion, but just stuff I run. Um, this one here, if I can find what it says, uh, do, 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 do. this one has been made to uh, proven expert flat valve technology. Separate inflation and deflation valves, so you, you do it from two separate ends. Uh, the non protruding, so you don't get them sticking into you. Uh, and the more durable than the traditional valves. The deflation valve features a one way flap for rapid deflation. And they reckon deflation, if you have to blow it up by mouth, it only takes one to one and a half minutes. Um, but I have uh, seen on some of the videos I've watched guys and that they do say in the winter by doing that, though, you can put moisture in it and you can get it freezing inside, guys. Um, so, a hand pump may be a good thing to have. Um, also, uh, quality materials, it's next to skin comfort and effective slip resistance property, which would be perfect in the hammock. Um, it's got expert laminate, it's airtight and impervious to degradation. So hopefully it won't degrade then over time. Uh, the warm insulation is 200 grams. Uh, Texped loft microfiber provides extended insulation and is laminated to the upper and lower sides of the mat. This ensures durability, loft and insulation for the life of the mat. The R value is 6. Uh, the quality is 100% quality control and originally tested. And there's a 2 year warranty on that guys. Let me just show you if you can see it there. Um, I've got a deal on it. i got it from uh, Outdoor GB. Um, they had an extra offer on. I did have an email but then Johnny texted me because he knows after work and he said there was a cold girl but it ran out at midnight. Uh, last Monday I think it was so me being me I wanted one so I thought right grab it while I can um, and I got a good deal on it I think it was it was 115 I think I paid 85 I think it's 85 for it something like that might have been a bit cheaper might have been a little bit dearer so like anyway guys so what I'm going to do I'm going to take it out because I haven't used it yet um, it only came yesterday. Um, I want to take it out, have a play with it, and then see how it works. What's this one here? You also get a spare repair kit in the side, guys. Didn't know that. It's handy to know. And what I'll do, I'll move the camera back, guys, and I'll, uh, I'll roll it out so you can see it. Here we go, guys. It's uh, looks like it's going to be long enough. I think it's 1.89 or something meters. Let's put it in the right way. This is the top. It's got like a honeycomb effect on it. Um, yeah, they said our value of three is for summer. Three to five is spring, summer, four, and five plus is for all seasons. Um, so it's an all seasons mat, guys. Which is pretty good. Let's 
No, I ain't too sure why we do this, because I haven't had one before. Let's have a look. What's this? Inflate, deflate, right. Let's see what it says. Okay. Put in guys. Let's have a look, see what it's like. Guys, what I'll do, I'll pause it for a minute. It's going to take me a couple of minutes to blow that up. And I'll bring you back a minute, guys, when it's inflated. Well, right, guys, as you can see, uh, fully blown up. It was a bit of a puff, but I got there in the end. Um, let's have a lie on it, see what it's like. Oh. Can't go on better than lying on the hard floor, can you? See what it's comfortable. Do you know what, guys? That is pretty good and it's quite comfortable actually and obviously with the extra inflation properties it's going to be perfect um we like said see like a honeycomb effect in it um it's an all seasons one yeah i can see what they mean by about it's been a bit of slip um so there it is guys all out fully inflated let me just see how quickly uh it goes down Yep, that is quite rapid deflation, guys, to be honest. Like I said, it's the first one I've had. I don't know if you can see that guys, I'll zoom you away or not. So. I said as I'm rolling it, it's letting the air out even better. There we go. Yeah. Okay, may have to get a little bit of arm pump, like I said, because of winter putting moisture in there. Um, it seemed to have went up okay by blowing it. Wasn't too much of an effort to get it up there. Um, like I said, it says about a minute to a minute and a half. Probably took me off a bit longer than that. And then, uh, like I said, it comes in its own stuff sack, guys. I'll play about that in a minute. Um, but yeah, excellent. Oh, I'll just bring you forward a minute, guys. There's a little bit more I need to do. Second. Make sure I get this right. A 1,119 sub giveaway. Um, if you guys don't know John, um, he lives over the pond in the US. Um, top bloke. Um, always comments on everybody's channels. Always commenting on mine. Uh, he makes some beautiful stuff. I was doing a video every day and I was watching him do the box saw. Uh, a fantastic, fantastic box saw, the way he's made it, the quality, the workmanship has gone into it, it's absolutely fantastic, he's a great guy, really, really nice guy, got a great channel, um, I think when I checked, he was on already 1,135 subs, so he's growing all the time, and he's restarted his channel, um, you know, so to go in less than a year, um, to restart his channel again from the beginning, and then bring his subs back online, and he's up to 1,135 subs already. 
Uh, but he is a really, really nice guy, a genuine guy. I really think the world of his channel. I love the guy to bits. Um, I said his workmanship with that book saw, fantastic. I've never seen nothing like it. It blew me away, really, the way he actually made that by hand. It was just outstanding. I mean, there's so many different guys in this community, uh, whether it be bushcraft, survival, prepping, whatever, have so many different talents. And a lot of the guys, from the stuff they make, is just fantastic. Uh, anyway, so this is a shade tape for John, the Mize Woodsman. Um, if you don't know him, um, I will put a link below this video. Uh, please go and check him out. Um, look at a few of his videos. If you like what you see, please subscribe to him. Like his videos, etc. You know, the new more stuff. Um, but like I said, he is a top bloke. Um, I do fit the world of him. But please go and check out John's channel. Um, so John, I hope this is okay for you, mate. I know you just wanted us to do anything normal. Um, I want to do a bit of a review on the, the Ridgeline jacket and my new inflatable mat. Um, but yeah, I hope this is okay for you, John. I hope this is good for you. Shout it for your VR. Um, other than that, guys, I'm going to get on. It's, uh, it's a Sunday. It's bloody cold, so I'm going to light the, light the wood burner in a minute. Um, I've just done two other VRs for people. Um, I just out of time. I'm so busy with work. And I've got another big camp coming up quite soon uh, with Johnny. Um, so yeah, anyway guys, I'm going to go, so I'm starting to ramble, uh, be safe, stay prepped, and I'll see you in the next video if I don't see you in the next camp. Bye for now.